Hey guys, welcome back to Discover University with Sky Anawahi, our goddess who has just finished a term paper. She's completed it and now we're gonna go and submit it and then she's basically done all her work. Yeah, she can now submit her term paper because it's like excellent quality. And now she can go and submit that and also it's almost 8 o'clock which means she can, she's got enough time to hop in the shower and then go and ask Braylon out on a date. And looks like, yep, someone has come to go and repair the stereo because it broke. And have we got more people who've moved in? I think we've got some new people. Maybe. Do we? I don't know. Alright, everything's all done. Yeah, do we not have like roommates anymore? Has it like completely swapped all the sims around? I hope not. I haven't even uploaded my new mod yet. Which is the, uh, it's a Lil Miss Sam's roommate mod. Basically what it does is it allows you to select the roommates you want to have your sims actually live with that you don't have to control. So you can make like a whole load of sims in cast, bang them all down on an empty lot, enroll them all, leave them on that empty lot and then select them all to move in as roommates. Which sounds pretty cool. So I'm going to have a hop in the shower and then she's going to go and call up Braylon and be like, hey, want to head out to uh, my home island and go out on a little bit of a date to Muapalam? Because I've actually put a cool little beach down. I made it myself because it's like I could find one on the gallery, but the ones in the gallery are always like so cluttered and full of detail that it's kind of hard to move your sims around. So I was just like, I'm just going to make a beach with all the essentials and some little extra bits to make it look like, you know, it's a beach that they set up in Muapalam to help kind of attract tourists, but also bring awareness about the conservation efforts the island is going through. That kind of thing. Yeah, I think we've got all new roommates. Now, who have we got? So we've got this Rhea. We seem to have this guy when his uh, name tag loads in. Dion. Izumi and Olivia. So we seem to have just like a whole new load of roommates, it seems. I don't know why all the other ones went. I hope they all like a. Uh... I know, I hope they're all around somewhere. Okay, it's almost nine. Let's go and schedule a date. And let's see if this all goes smoothly. The only person you can ask on a date is Braylon. Literally. And she's in like a super confident mood as well because she's just like, I'm in such good mood, all my work's done. And now I can go and actually celebrate and take some time to relax. I mean, she only did two classes this year, so it's not too bad. Not too bad. I might I see if she can do either three classes in the next semester, get her up to five credits, two cores and an elective, and see what other like electives she can do. That kind of thing. Oop. Date has been accepted. I just hope her parents don't turn up at the beach. Because I have a feeling they will. Because they could go over to Peppa's Pub. I found like a cool renovation one. And I've also renovated the Foxbury Commons as well. So it's a little bit... So there's more things to do essentially. Nope, I just selected that one. We want to go to Sulani. The beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Sulani. And to our little beach, Paradiso. Paradiso. It's just, it's just called paradise. Because, you know, Moapalam is a paradise. 9am on the beach. Actually quite nice. Sit and talk, flirt, and basically socialise. So I'm just gonna have go and sit over here in this little bit here. You got like a little vendor thing. I've added this bit here, this like little beach supplies thing. So I imagine because you can go diving around here. People use this, they can grab like diving tools before they actually go deep diving around the ocean. Also this place is like a paradise. But it's like quite nice. It's like I know it's a bit dark and it's kind of cool right now, but this place is actually super, super, super nice. You should see it in the daytime. It's absolutely beautiful. Just ask him how his day's gone, because you've done all your work and I want to see how he's doing. Could this guy has like Braylon play? is cheerful. Oh, that's so sweet. It's all going pretty well. All she's got to do now is just get all the floating. The floating down is probably going to be at like gold already. Dates go really well when you just follow the instructions very, very easily. Unless it's when you got to get them flirty or playful at the same time. That one I always struggle with because it's very hard to get them both in the same mood. 
Although it's very Maybe quiet at the beach today. I guess because it's like 11 at night. Which means no one's going to want to come around. Which is pretty... It's pretty nice. It's a little more private. Shabby means that Sky might be able to uh, reveal a secret to Braylon at a later point tonight. Okay, Arendelle's shown up. That's why. I was like, who was that I just heard? Arendelle's shown up. She's just like, Dad, please stop. He's just like, I'm not here. She's just like, I've got something to tell you, but we have to go in the water. For it, he's just like, we have to go in the water. What, you got treasure hidden somewhere? She's like, in a sense. But first, before you do that, do the kiss. Because she can do it. I always love the little shocked face when they're like, <gasps> He's very inspired. Wow. I love that. It's a gold date, though. It's a gold successful date, even if her dad has shown up to kind of crash it slightly. Kiss him passionately. Well, gonna be a bit hard to do without her being in a flirty mood. And Oh, look at that. Other people have actually shown up. I did wonder where everyone else was. I was like, why is it so quiet on this beach tonight? And I was just like, oh, wait. People, like, people are showing up. People are showing up because it is a beach lot. I need to get them... Somewhere over, let's go over here. Let's swim here together, because then she can go and reveal to Braylon. Because she trusts it. Like, that solid friendship, that is solid enough that she can be like, I could trust you with my secret, and I better do this away from my father, who's just standing there like a lemon right now. She's like, come on, I'm going to show you my little secret. You're gonna love it, hopefully. And it's raining. You might have to call the clear skies in a little bit. She's like, check it out. He's like, oh my god, you're blue and you have a tail. He's like, yeah, I'm a mermaid. He's like, oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I love the red tail. So she's like, thanks. My dad has a red tail as well. There's quite a lot of us around the uh, around here but you know some of us like to stay hidden but in the last few years mermaid culture has gotten so accepted by everyone on the island that we're all a little free to be ourselves don't you think he's like i kind of like it i mean you could cut she looks like she's very cold but she's it's she's just blue she's just blue also that's a lot of cool tattoos he has them also, I don't know why, but my frame rate has just absolutely dropped again. It's been doing this lately, and I'm ch been trying to figure out what on earth's been going on with it. I hope it's going to pick up again. I have a feeling it might be to do with something on my computer. I hope not. She can also give him a mummy's kiss if she wants to. Do a siren's call. Do not summon an ocean threat to him. That would just be. That would just be rude. That would just be rude, but she can do the kiss in the water, which I absolutely always adore. I always adore it. It's one of my more favorite interactions that came with this with this pack, even with the with someone in the background there, but also just the volcano in the background. It just looks so nice. Again, it's my favorite interaction. See, he's just like, oh wow. She's just like, so you not you don't have a problem with it? <gasps> oh my god, he blew her a kiss. I think he absolutely loves that she's a that she's a she's a mermaid. I think he absolutely adores her. Definitely that she, she trusts him enough to reveal this secret. To her. She's like, you can't really tell anyone at Foxbury. I'm not sure they'd understand, but that's also why I'm doing biology, learning about our genetic makeup and also how it affects the island and stuff. Because I'm gonna come back here when I graduate. He's like, oh, you gotta come back when you graduate. She's like, yeah, you know, depends on where you want to go as well. He's like, I don't even know where I'm gonna go yet. I'm just gonna kind of float about until I finish my degree because I want to be an author, you know, write books. Maybe I could come here, write some books about Solani. She's like, that'd be an idea. The waterfall is right over there, but I don't think it's time. They've just had their first date, which is hopefully gonna end soon it's like three in the morning but they're having a nice little chat okay maybe get out of the uh, water and I'll have her call the clear skies 
so she can uh just so it's not going to be like they're not going to be all wet and miserable when they get back to Foxbury. She's like, "Do you want to see something really cool? I can I can get rid of this rain." He's like, "How are you going to get rid of the rain?" She's like, "Oh, you'll see, but we got to get back on land first. He's like, "All right then, show me this magical mermaid power of yours then." All right, watch this. You're gonna love this. This is just gonna make the rain go away instantly. She's like, it's cloudy now. And it should turn sunny in a little bit. He's like, wow. That's pretty awesome. I love that he's just sort of looking at her like he's just so impressed. I think he's just impressed with everything. I mean, this is Braylon. You know? This just Braylon. Hopefully the date's gonna be over s soon. It's doing that thing where it gets stuck at like one minute, but it's like almost five in the morning. It's also like five in the morning, but now it's nice and warm. It's nice and warm, and I think, yeah, most people are still here. Yeah. Oh look, her, her other dad showed up. Her other dad shown up, probably for just like a morning swim, and then also to get some work done. Why don't you just quickly go over and say hi? Just say hi, and then, you know, ask about siblings. What? No. And then, oh, brag about your grades, actually, because yeah. you can do that. You can do that. Where is it? There it is. She's just like, oh, my dad's over there. I heard something. Sky's a little freaked out right now. Oh, dear. Braylon's just sort of over there watching. She's like, oh, hey, dad. She's just like, hey. It's like, hey, what are you doing back in Solani for a little bit? Shouldn't you be studying? And she's like, I'm doing really well in classes already. He's like, looking at a straight A student. He's like, straight A's? Proud of you, sweetie. Well, Proud of you, well, sweetie. Also, his tan is locked in, so he's always going to look like that. Also, I love when they do the little, uh, the little thing. He's like, so what are you doing here? She's like, I'm on a date. On a date, and he's like, a date? He's like, yes, a date. He's over there. He's a bit shy to come over. And he's like, oh, well, maybe invite him over to the house when you can get a break. For now, shouldn't you be going back to school? She's like, all my work's done. I just have to wait for, you know, all the grades to come in. But I should be okay. And he's like, well, you know, be careful. Has anyone else found out about you at Foxbury yet? She's like, no. No one sees me a swimming scenario. in the river. It's quite nice. Russia. He's like, you swim in the river. It's like, it's clean. I check. I checked. I've done all the. I've done the water samples. He's like, well, good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Come on, Wednesday. Come on, Wednesday. It's like six in the morning now. Everyone else is just sort of standing around. The AI is just not knowing what to do. And poor Braylon's over here, just like, oh, what do I do? Date complete, gold medal earned. Woo! It's a nice date. Okay, just give him a kiss and then you can both head on back to Foxbury. Look at that little face just then. Uh, She's like, alright, <laughs> let's head on back and I'll see you Pator. later. What is this? Oh, is she going to kiss what him again or is he going to kiss her? Alright, we are back in the dorm. So I'm thinking bathroom breakfast and then we can go to the commons and we can go and get a start on doing our bot savant stuff because we've got to build some robots we've got to build the little drone, we've got to build a utility bot and an enhancer bot so we can get that done today, what would be a nice quick meal let's have a breakfast burrito or oatmeal, now breakfast burrito, cheese earned it oh something else broken in this apartment, all the sinks keep breaking it's the sinks and the stereos I've noticed. Also, these people have a stereo in their room. Lucky them. Also, what's now in our room if we got a new flatmate? She's still got all her stuff. We still got there. What's on here? Tiny little. What are these? Oh, the cameras. Why have they got two cameras? That's so weird. Maybe they're a photography student. Maybe currently she's just finishing up her breakfast burrito and I don't know why that pineapple plant thing keeps popping up. But when she's done that, we're going to go and head over to the commons to go and start building some robots. 
Alright, as you can see, I have renovated this place a little bit. Frame rate's also better here for some reason. So you've got a cafeteria and like a little cafe. Bit. The bathroom was kept the same. Over here kept the same. I just added some bookshelves. But upstairs, I've made it so there's so much more you can do. There's a observatory, there's veterinary stations for those who want to be vets, archaeology tables, more computers. Hey look, Braylon's here! He's getting some research done. We've got chemistry labs, which no one can actually use. Only scientists can use them, so they're completely useless. Chemical analyzers and five robotic stations, plus these uh, microscopes. So we're going to be here and we're going to be learning how to craft a bot, craft a chatterbot. So we're going to start off with the most basic thing. You need to get parts. I think you just have to tinker first. We're just going to tinker at the robotic station. And then we're going to go and start uh, seeing how we can get some stuff to start building our robots. Yeah, so tinker alone and tinker with friends. And then I think you get the uh, stuff. So, and you got in four hours there's a bot contest. But she doesn't have a bot to enter with. And then there's the meetup on Tuesday evening. And there's also a another meetup on Thursday. Thursday. This is all good. How many more days has she got left? She's got three days left of her term. And everything's all completed. That's all good. Okay, now she can start getting her robotic skill. Oh, look, it's Lilith. And who's that? There's Serena. Oh, that's her professor. And then Braylon's over here chatting with the professor. And also just hanging out with Lilith. Over there. Bit odd that they're all just over there. But now she is working on her robotics in her bikini because she's just that cool. She's just that cool. I have this beautiful idea that when she moves back to Solani when she graduates, she's got like this beautiful beach house, but she's also got like a robotics like workshop garage that's got like all her science equipment that she'll need, like chemical analyzers, robotic stations, like all this kind of stuff. I think that would be so cool. Maybe I'll attempt to build it. That'd be fun. Oh dear. Oh no, is it? Yep. Oh, this is the worst time for you to get that. Oh, honey. So currently she's just doing some little tinkering. This is probably very dangerous that she's doing this in a bikini, but you know, it's the same as what can you do. Oh god, she smacked herself in the face with the hammer. That, not only would that hurt, but that would probably sustain a really bad injury. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. But she's done with the tinkering. Now, she might be able to tinker some more. She might have scrap now that she can craft something. Okay, you've smacked yourself with that three times. Let's go and just stop for now with the tinkering. Because she smacked herself three times with that hammer, which could be probably very, very painful. Yeah, you should probably get back. I think I might wrap this up soon anyway, because this frame rate, it's like five frames per second I don't know what's going on I had it like at a decent frame rate yesterday and my other series had decent frame rates so I don't know what's causing it. it's been like this since the new pack literally dropped so I'm hoping that there'll be a patch coming just to enhance some performance just to enhance performance or there is something I need to do on my end you know how it goes when a uh, packs drop we're back in the dorm so I'm just gonna have a shower and then probably game and then go to bed for the rest of the day. I'm actually gonna finish this episode here. I don't know what's going on with the frame rate. It was all working fine yesterday and now all of a sudden it's not. So definitely something's gone wrong either on the Simpson or on my end but I need to go and definitely get it all Fixed. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Got any ideas for what uh, this guy should do later down the line as she progresses in her degree? Do you want her to find the secret society? Uh, do you want her to go on another date with Braylon? Some point and where should they go on a date? Give me some ideas for that. Also, would you like the idea of her moving off campus in her next term, maybe with a few roommates? I'd still be controlling her, but she'd have other roommates essentially. What would you think of that? Do let me know in the comments below and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye bye now.